So today we have a chemistry question of the day and it asks us, bones are known to carry 6.5% carbon-14 by mass before decay. A fossil was recently found with 0.8% carbon-14. How old is this fossil? And we assume that carbon-14 has a 6,000 year old half-life. So the first thing we want to do when we're dealt with this type of question is a very, very wordy question. We want to just find out what we know and what we need to know, okay? Um, so all we, need, all we know is that the initial, 6.5. So we can just say 6.5 and the final is 0.8. Um, and that's just to make our lives easier because percentages can confuse people a lot of times. Let's just say this is 6.5 grams and we're done with 0.8 grams. Let's even make this 65 and 8. Okay, so we started with 65 grams and we ended with 8. Let's just assume that. Okay, and the half life equals 6,000. Okay, and we want to find how old this thing is. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we have this equation right here. So we have n equals n naught e to the negative ln2 over half life times t. Okay, um, and so what we can do is we can plug in um, our numbers. We know that our final is 8, initial 65, e to the negative ln2 over 6,000 times t. Um, e to the negative ln2 over 6,000 times t, right? Um, and now we can find the natural log of both sides. All right, and so that would be natural log of 8 over 65 equals negative ln2 over 6,000 times t. And we can just move that to the other side and solve t that way. Uh, but then you realize, oh wait, I don't even have a calculator, so how am I going to solve this for the MCAT? Um, so this is a good way to solve it if you're in a normal physics class or a normal chemistry class, that's great. Uh, but we're not given a calculator, so we need a, a different way to solve this. We can't figure it out that way. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is what we do. Every single time we're dealt with these questions, we make a little table like this. Um, so we start off with zero and we increment this by the number of our half-life. So our half-life was 6,000. And we just add on 6,000 every single time, right? All right. And so the percent left at zero, we have 100%, right? We started with 100. Our first half-life would cut us down by half, right? Hence the half-life. The next would cut us another half, 12.5% and 6.25%, right? So um, in 12,000 years, we would have one quarter of our original amount. So let's just start with that. So what is our amount? So our amount started with 65, right? Then now we're going down to 32.5. Now we're going down to 16.25, right? Because all we're doing is cutting each number by half. So if we notice here, 16.25 uh, is one quarter of 65, right? And now we're at 0.1825. Oh, so our actual final amount was eight. We wanted a eight um, grams in our case when we converted. Uh, we wanted eight grams, right? So 8.125, oh, that's perfect. So let's, let's find our answer, 18,000. So right off the bat, we can eliminate A and D, right? 12,000 and 24,000, those are completely off. But wait, we have B and C, they're very, very close to 18,000. So what do we do there? Um, so this is when we need to kind of figure out, um, you know, logically, will it be less than 18,000 or more than 18,000? So a good way to do that is just um, figure out 24,000 years, what would we get? We would get 4.0625, right? And our number is eight, we wanted eight right? Is 8 going to be in between this range or this range? Okay. Is it between 4 and 8.125 or is it between 8.125 and 16.25? And so we know that it's not between that. We know that our, ha our number of our age has to be between 18,000 and 24,000. We just don't know how much. But lucky for us and lucky for whenever you take the MCAT, um, your answer choices will never be that close. So we know that it's greater than 18,000, but we know it's nowhere near 24,000. So that's why we chose 18,133. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments.
Thanks for watching.